<clears throat> and uh, as you know that uh, to pass your B1 Jesse grade 5 exam for ILR and British passport you have to do B1 and life in the UK and in B1 you have to have um, a personal topic and then there is a conversation phase where you talk about um, topics uh, with the examiner um, I have made some videos about my personal topic and in that series this is the last one um, so far uh, so I have chosen my job here and the job that I have chosen is receptionist at, at a surgery um, so you can write whatever you like whatever your job is so first of all you have to download this form from um, the internet from Trinity College website and then you have to fill in this one I have filled it on uh, on the laptop on computer uh, so that's why you can see that these things are typed you don't have to do this you just print the form and then fill it with your hand handwritten would be acceptable right so the main topic goes here in the in the middle uh, in the center box and then you have to have five different aspects of um, the main topic for example receptionist at surgery traveling to job dream job main duties part-time okay so whatever your job is for example if you are a teacher you could write teacher if you are a driver you could write this here and then five things about that okay so now in the coming slides next slides we will be talking about these five things okay so examiner will choose any three of these and ask you questions so what we have to do is we have to prepare all of them um, because we don't know what type of course uh, what what uh, um, three topics will be um, chosen by the examiner so that's why we need to prepare all of them first one is part-time so the question these are some of the tentative questions that can be asked in the exam and the answers that I will um, give you here are just samples that just model answers um, obviously everybody's situation is different so you have to um, adjust accordingly so the first question is do you have a part-time job and you say yes I have a part-time job how many hours do you do a week so you could say I do five hours a week I do 10 hours a week um, or I do 16 hours a week whatever your job timings are what time does your job start very simple questions uh, my job starts at nine o'clock uh, in the morning and what time does your job finish um, well sometimes if I have to do four hours shift then it ends at 12 o'clock or one o'clock and sometime it finishes at three o'clock okay do you do day shifts or night or evening shifts mostly I do day shifts but sometimes I do evening shifts as well um, yeah um, so if you do night shifts I mean obviously at surgery you don't have night shifts but if you are working in a hospital for example then you could say sometimes I do night shifts uh, sometimes evening shifts was my my um, uh, most of my job um, shifts are morning shifts do you have a break in between yes I have a 15 minutes tea break um, around 12 o'clock okay you can say anything yeah I'm just trying to give you some sentences to to fit in uh, this uh, these uh, questions and answers do you work on the weekends as well well I don't work on the weekends uh, however sometimes if I have to cover somebody then um, they let me know before so the next one is a receptionist at surgery where do you work my job is uh, uh, receptionist at a surgery do you like this job yes I really like this job because I um, have to speak to different people I have to meet different people and I like um, speaking to and meeting different people how long have you been doing this job for I've been doing this job for the last three years is it a difficult job um, no it's not a difficult job if you like your job you enjoy it obviously there are challenges in every job sometimes there are challenges in this job as well are you the only receptionist at this surgery no I am not the only receptionist I have another colleague so we are two people at the same time why did you choose to become a receptionist 
well, I like speaking to people and I like trying to solve their problems, um, meeting people, sorting out their issues. And um, obviously, uh, it's a good job. It pays me good money as well. Do you enjoy this job? Yes, I do enjoy this job. As I said that I like, uh, I like to see people. I like to meet new people. And um, uh, yes, uh, and the timings are good. The pay is good. So I enjoy it. Right. Next main duty so it's it would be about your main duties um, in this job what are your main duties as a receptionist so my main duties as a receptionist is to take phone calls and um, whosoever um, turns up in the in the surgery I have to listen to him book appointments um, I'll keep the records up to date and uh, and yes um, um, sometimes I have to deal with um, prescriptions uh, but mostly it is about phone calls and speaking to be uh, people face to face um, especially booking their appointments next do you have to book appointments over the phone uh, we do book appointments over the phone but sometimes people come up um, in, in the surgery and then we do that way as well are you also responsible to keep everything clean during these days um, Yes, I am. You know, after the coronavirus, obviously, uh, the um, you know the the importance of cleaning and uh, uh, keeping everything uh, nice and tidy is very very uh, important. It has increased. The importance has increased. So, um, so I do. Um, I mean, obviously, I don't do the the major cleaning, but at my um, at my uh, workstation. I am responsible to clean things to sanitize them yeah which thing do you like the most speaking to customers or doing office work well I like uh, to speak to people I like to book their appointments and trying to help them by sorting out their problems is it difficult speaking to people it is not difficult if you have the right mindset and right approach but uh, yes yeah, sometimes people who come to the surgery they are obviously are not well they are sometimes depressed so we have to take into account these things as well uh, so we have to uh, deal with them in a different way how do you handle someone who is rude well I try to explain to them that um, if I could help them in any way I will definitely help them so they don't need to be um, means angry or rude so they can explain to me I listen to them very carefully and then try to solve their problems and most of the time I uh, get things right Next, traveling to job how far do you live from your workplace I only live uh, 10 minutes walk from away away from my workplace do you walk cycle or travel by bus mostly I walk but sometimes if it is rain or snow then I uh, take bus I don't cycle which method of traveling um, to job do you like I like to walk to my job do you sometimes get late well it depends on the situation um, sometimes I do but I try to reach the 10 15 minutes before my job time what do you do whilst you are in the bus well when I have to take the bus I just try to read something or just check my phone text um, friends or family and that's it do you sometimes drive no I don't drive is there free parking for the staff yes there is free parking for the staff but it's very limited um, so we encourage people to walk or come by bus next thing is dream job um, was it your dream job to become a receptionist uh, well I'd like to uh, be a receptionist and uh, it's a very good job um, I don't know whether I should say that it's a dream job or no but um, it's a part-time job and it's um, I mean it's it's giving me good money so I'm happy with that what is your dream job well my dream job could be um, working at a um, at a five-star hotel probably as a receptionist uh, or as a uh, you know counter manager why do you like this job um, I like this job because it has got a bigger challenge and uh, managing things speaking to people bookings um, so that's why I think I think it's a good uh, job and my friend does this job and 
um, he told me it's a very good job it's a very good money as well at the same time do you think you can help people in this job of course I, I do uh, think I can help people wherever you are I believe you can help people by um, trying to listen to them trying to solve their problems what do you say about getting a dream job well everybody should have a dream job and I think that um, one should work towards it I mean if it requires training you should do training if it requires any type of skills um, you should develop those skills you know what if you don't get your dream job uh, I mean try to, to to work towards it I would say um, if you have a dream job then obviously you have to work for it I mean nothing comes free um, so you have to either invest in in trainings in courses or you have to either invest in yourself by improving yourself in different ways what do you think a dream job should be like well everybody has a, his own or her own dream job dream job and uh, I would say that dream job is the one where you get satisfaction of doing that job if you are happy in that job if you enjoy that uh, and it pays you good money then I would say it's a, it's a dream job it's a good job yeah okay next one so so these were some of the topics that we have covered and this is how uh, you can do it uh, yourself I'm just trying to give you ideas I'm not trying to put words into your mouth I'm just trying to give you ideas that this is how you uh, do things okay you don't have to prepare um, a lot uh, of the answers by writing and memorizing okay just try to keep um, one thing in mind that this is the test of language it's not the test of facts if you are doing a job uh, then you can choose that if you're not doing a job don't choose my job as a personal topic yeah if you are doing a job and you choose my job as a personal topic obviously you know things more than I do about your job and then you can write different things and prepare for that and this is how you get things done uh, I'm sure that you understand that if you have still questions you can ask me uh, I wish you all the best bye